Good evening. It's Kathleen and you have found me at my house on the Seagull JCC Facebook live stream class. Welcome to my dining room. I've got Cody here with me. I've got a little black cat here with me. Um, make sure that you have um, something soft to lie on, whether that's your walled wall carpeting or um, maybe a mat, maybe a yoga mat, and maybe something a little squishier under that if you're on hardwood floors. I use a little piece of uh, oriental rug and a yoga mat. The yoga mat gives you a little traction. It's a little sticky and um, and uh, the cushioning is always nice for those rolling exercises. So it is about 531 on Tuesday, um, August the 25th. I can't believe it. Here we are, we're still confined. It's, it's surreal. I'm gonna give us another minute or two. Let's see how many people we have on. Oh, we have two. Oh, Marlene's here. Well, well we can start. Of course we can start. Make sure you have something to drink, whether it's water or iced tea, something to keep you hydrated and also to give you a reason if we're in a really difficult pose for you to say, oh, I, I need to hydrate. It gives you a little, a little break, a legitimate break. We've got more guitar music today. Maybe I can turn this up a little bit or bring it a little closer to you. Again, it's, it's called healing guitar. Sometimes it's called healing Hawaiian guitar or healing afternoon guitar. This is called healing Tuesday guitar. <laughs> so let's begin with our standing energy, standing up straight and tall. I feel kind of far away from you get a little closer. Take that great big breath in right up through the bottoms of the feet, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away. Let's do that again. Big breath in and exhale. Just feel these as healing breaths, healing Tuesday breaths. Inhale right up through the soles of the feet, lengthening through the legs, lengthening through that spinal column, filling up the lungs, then exhale, roll the shoulders down and away. Your hands are at your sides with your thumbs forward or your palms forward. Can you feel that difference when you open the palms toward the wall in front of you? It just sort of changes that shoulder. What happens when you walk those feet a little farther away from each other? Think about how you're distributing your body weight from your right foot to your left. I know Pam has you do a little like a little swaying tree kind of thing and you can do that. I don't bend my knees, um, not at least not together, maybe just a little bend and a little bend. Let's start to walk those feet a little closer together. But if you feel like you need to do that little twist for your upper back, for your mid back, go right ahead. Maybe your feet are too close together at this point. If they are, let's go ahead and roll up onto the balls of the feet. Bring it down to a full foot and lift your toes. Inhale, roll up onto the balls of your feet. Exhale, bring it down, lift those toes. Find your place. Bring those feet out so they're stacked right under the shoulders, toes pointing forward. Inhale as you lengthen that spine. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away, palms forward or thumbs forward. Big breath in again. Really fill up your lungs this time. Exhale, feel your chin sink down to your chest. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Think about the left side of the neck and shoulders, inhaling and exhaling. And then exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Keep 
that right shoulder down and away. Inhale, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, take your eyes to the ceiling. Inhale, bring those eyes back into alignment. Looking straight ahead. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, just gently look to your right. Your knees are soft. Your core belly muscles are, are engaged. And then exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Again, keep that left shoulder immobile, no movement here. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lateral drop to the left. Inhale as you lengthen. Inhale, bring those arms up shoulder height. As you exhale, reach through your fingertips. Turn the palms to the ceiling. Inhale, bring those arms all the way overhead and I'll back up just a bit here. Reach through your fingers, really stretch through the midsection of the body. Exhale, this time bringing the heels of the hands down in front of your heart. Press the heels of the hands against each other, the full palm, the fingers. When you're ready, inhale, bring one foot to the inside of the opposite leg. As you exhale, extend those arms overhead. Exhale as you bring your hands together, reach through those fingers. Exhale apart. Inhale deeply through your nose as you exhale, bend at that hip flexor, extend the bent leg behind you. Reach the arms out to the sides, allow your fingers to reach, your toes to reach. Increase the bend in that weight-bearing leg, reach through your fingers, stretch through your tippy toes. Align those hips, align the shoulders, engage the core, inhale, and exhale back to standing. Very nice, take a few steps right here. Again, just center down. Find your place. When you're ready, change feet. Inhale, one foot to the inside of the opposite leg. Exhale, extend your arms overhead. Exhale as you bring those hands together. Reach through your fingertips. Nice stretch through the shoulders, through the midsection. Exhale, bring the hands apart. And then let's breathe together. Inhale, exhale, bend at the hip flexor, extend the bent leg behind you, reach those arms out to the sides, allow your fingers to reach, your toes to reach. Again, do your best to align the shoulders, the hips. Perhaps you wanna increase the bend in the weight-bearing leg, stretching through your fingers, pushing out through your tippy toes. When you're ready, inhale and exhale back to standing. Very nice. Hands together at your heart. Again, just center down. Perhaps bring that, that focus, that center of concentration to your forehead. Bring your mind, your breath, and your body all together. Pushing the heels of the hands against each other, the palms, the fingers, the pads of the fingers and thumbs, pushing those hands away. Rise up onto the balls of the feet. Roll your shoulders down and away. Soften your knees, engage your core, push the palms back. Still standing up straight and tall, so not leaning forward. Add that little pulse, two. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale, press the palms back and back and back. Still standing up straight and tall. Turn the palms to face each other and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four. Big breath in. 
exhale, press your palms toward each other, continue to push the palms toward each other, pushing all the air out of your lungs when you can't exhale any longer. Inhale, release those arms, magically float up. Bend at your elbows, inhale, rise up onto the balls of the feet, reach through your fingertips, stretch through the shoulders, press the hands back, lift those toes, inhale, palms to the ceiling, reach, stretch. Bend at those elbows, inhale, rise up on your tippy toes, exhale, reach forward, press those hands back. Arms relax beside the body, once again, thumbs forward or palms forward. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale, feel your chin just kind of get heavy. Your whole head gets heavy and sinks down. Inhale and exhale, thinking about those first seven vertebrae of the spine. Think about the discs as well. And as you exhale, just gently fold over the upper body, over the lower. Just a nice little forward fold. Take your time. You can press those arms into your legs just to slow your descent, maybe give you a little bit more control. Eventually, you're gonna feel a, a nice stretch in the backs of the thighs. You feel that stretch curving around the hip and into the low back, maybe into the middle back even the upper back as you let your head sort of sink down to the floor. Just focus on that breath. Think of yourself as a rag doll. With each exhalation breath, the top of the head just gets a little bit closer to the floor. Now I have a nice little softness in my knee joint. I'm engaging those abdominal muscles. If your eyes are open, look through those legs. If your eyes are closed, no worries. You're still facing the legs though. You're not looking at the floor or looking at your toes. As you exhale this time, increase the bend in your knees, tuck your chin into your chest, slowly roll up. Think about your low back, then your middle back, your shoulders, your neck your head. Roll those shoulders back. Now if you feel like you need that one more stretch, I'm sort of feeling like I need a stretch for my shoulders and my tricep a bit. So whatever it may be, go ahead and take that stretch. Roll out your yoga mat if you haven't done so already. Take a sip of water if you need it. Now, I never roll out my mat until I'm, I'm ready to step onto it. And that's because if I do, if I roll it out early, both the dog and the cat stake out their spots on the mat. And our yoga instructor, Melissa, said her cats do the same thing. So if you're ready, I'm just going to um, reposition the camera just a bit. Bring it on down. And of course, at the beginning, you just get to see my feet. So we're lined up, toe to heel, a nice little zigzag shape. And then as you inhale, lift, the, no, no, Cody. Cody, sorry. Cody boy, stop. Cody likes to dig in the house. Not in the yard, but definitely likes to dig in the house. And he has the ability to put holes in things. Good boy. So here we are once again. Um, our hips are pointed forward, our ribs are pointed forward, shoulders forward, neck is long, head is up. Now I want you to engage those abdominal muscles, soften the knees just a teeny bit. Inhale, lift the arms up, shoulder height. Now you can stretch through your shoulders, stretch through the elbow, the fingertips. We're not bearing any weight on our arms right now. As you exhale, bend at the elbows, cup opposite elbows, and then inhale, lift the heel on that back foot. As you exhale, bend the knees and begin that descent. Just take your time. You can always put down a hand, a knee, or both. Scoop out through your belly. 
and move to that seated position, relaxing the arms on the knees. Gently rock side to side. You can make a nice big rock and focus on your, your sitting bones and focus on your hamstrings for a moment. to narrow that rock and when you're ready just pause right here inhale feel yourself lengthen feel yourself grow taller fill up the lungs exhale shoulders are down and away you're looking straight ahead big breath in through your nose exhale feel your chin sink down to your chest just moving through those first seven vertebrae of the spine take another big breath in Exhale, scoop out, move to your tailbone, slide the hands to the backs of the thighs. Begin that gentle pulse, just pushing the shoulder blades back. Again, centering down, making it all about you, your breath, your time. Raise one hand into the air, begin to pulse. Switch arms. Pause here, inhale, bring yourself all the way up, lengthen, roll your shoulders, big breath in again, wiggle out those toes, exhale, chin sinks down to the chest, scoop out through the belly, begin to pulse, bring one hand into the air, both hands or no hands, it's totally up to you. pulses three two pause here look to your belly inhale round up still in that C shape sitting bones contact the mat then lengthen wiggle out those two big breath in through your nose exhale chin sinks down to the chest inhale exhale and scoop out Take your time. Be aware of when your low back contacts the mat. Give yourself that little pause. Breathe. Middle back contacts the mat. Shoulder blades down, head down. Lie all the way down on your mat. Do let gravity take over as you give yourself that nice little pelvic tilt here, imprinting your low back into the mat. As you exhale, hollow out your belly, let your belly sink into your spine. Now I have my palms turned up to the ceiling and out at a bit of an angle. And a lot of that has to do with my shoulders. It just is such a, a pleasing thing to do for my shoulders. Some things that we can do make sense. Some things we do are sort of bad habits. So we need to know the difference between those. Now as we're in this place, do your best to make those feet parallel to each other, heels out in front of your knees, try and get those feet flat on the floor, knees are immobile, pointed straight up to the ceiling. Now here we go, inhale, actively imprint that low back into the mat. Exhale, hollow out your belly, feel your, feel your belly sink into your spine. Your middle back is in contact with the mat, your shoulders, your head. Now I'm turning because I'm really trying in my mind's eye, I'm supposed to be focused on me, but I'm trying to focus on you and remembering when we were together. So I'm kind of looking toward where I think you are. Um, but for you, I want you to feel free to do auditory processing on this, just like we do when we're together in class. You can't always see me. So think about your alignment. Think about the positioning of your head. You're looking straight up to the ceiling or slightly forward. If you're ready, inhale, draw one knee into the chest, and then the other. As you exhale, pull the knees toward the shoulders, press the thighs to the belly. 
should feel good. And if it does feel good, give over to the joy of the moment. Let yourself feel good. When you're ready, big breath in. As you exhale, push those toes into the air. Just do a little sanding inside edge of the feet. Touch, big breath in again. Stabilize those feet. Exhale as you lift your chin to your chest, hands to the backs of the thighs. Bring yourself up. Middle back lifts up. Low back perhaps lifts up. Or you can keep your low back down. I'm gonna to move to my tailbone. Reach through your tippy toes, turn your palms to the mat. Begin to slap water with the whole arm. Look right at your belly. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, pump, pump, pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, your shoulders are up, your head is up. Exhale, look right at your belly. Inhale, really move those arms. Exhale, pump, pump, pump. Inhale, legs are straight. Exhale, reach through your tippy toes. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, pump, pump, pump. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, move those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, last time, big breath in. Exhale, bend those knees. Ground through your spine. Draw the knees into the chest. Good job. Let the hands rest on your shins. Pull those knees toward your shoulders. Press your thighs in. If you feel like you need to rock side to side, go right ahead. If you're okay to be in stillness, that's the perfect place to be. Good job. Good job. As you exhale, take one foot to your mat and then the other. Walk those feet out just a little bit. Now I'm going to have to scoot up. <laughs> it's best if you can get those feet on your mat because that gives you that little bit of traction. So inhale, tilt the pelvis. Feet are flat on the floor, flat on the mat. As you exhale, lift your chin to your chest, look to your belly, and bring yourself up. Lengthen through the spine, slide the feet away, round and reach. Lift the arms as high as the ears. Inhale, round through your spine, 24 vertebrae in motion. Exhale, scoop out. Take your time, you're in control. Look to your belly, only go back as far as you need to. Inhale, round back up, fill up the lungs. Sitting bones lengthen, slide the feet away. Exhale, round and reach. Inhale, plant the feet. Exhale. straight and tall really fill up the lungs exhale round and reach inhale try and keep your tempo consistent Drag those heavy arms with you, lifting through your shoulders, your neck, your head. Lace the fingers behind you. Give yourself a nice stretch here. And then just shake it out. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Slide those feet in. This exercise isn't actually a Joseph Pilates exercise. This is an exercise that sort of transitions us into those rolling exercises. So rolling is a pretty dramatic movement, especially for many of us who have back issues. So we want to make sure we're nice and warm and limber or mobile. Big breath in, lengthen. Exhale, shoulders down and away. Big breath in again, lengthen through that neck, head up, look straight ahead. 
and then exhale, scoop out chin to chest, slicing hands out over your knees, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now add a little isometric, push, pull, extend. Now on the, on the extension and the bending, no need to, to engage those muscles, but on the push, pull, go right ahead, push, pull, scoop out a little bit more, Last one, reach up, reach forward, find the rope, pull side to side, work those obliques, work the lats, bring your hands below your kneecaps, exhale, chin to chest, pull it back. Nice little stretch from the base of the spine to the base of the skull. Wiggle out those toes. And then inhale, feel that little tug at the top of your head, lengthening through your spine. Sitting up on your sitting bones, walk those feet in, wrap the hands around the front of the ankles, lifting a foot and then the other. Let those toes touch each other, heels, knees. Actively push those legs toward each other, big breath in. Exhale, chin sinks down, scoop out through your belly, balance on your tailbone, pull the heels in. Hold here or exhale, tip, inhale up. Exhale, tip, inhale up, third time. Maintain that tight little ball shape. And pause here, balanced on your tailbone, big breath in. Exhale, push those toes into the air. Reach through your tippy toes. Continue to look to your belly. Try and maintain that, that C shape with your body. If you like, you can reach up with one hand or both hands, or not. Straddle those legs. Big breath in, hold here, or exhale, tip. Inhale up. Exhale, tip. Inhale up. You can roll all the way back to your shoulder blades, but really you don't want to go past maybe the bottom portion of the shoulder blade. You don't want to take a chance of rolling up into the neck or onto the head. Bring it up, pause here, balanced on that tailbone, reaching through the tippy toes. Hold the hands here or reach one hand in the air or both. It's totally up to you. Soles of the feet come together, heels, balls of the feet, toes. Wrap the hands under and around those ankles. Try and keep your elbows from digging into your legs. Inhale, click your feet together. Hold here or tip, and then click the feet together again. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale, tip. Pull your navel up and into your spine. Tip. One, two, three. Inhale up. Click, click, click. Pause. Bring one hand up, palm to the ceiling, and then the other. Lift from your shoulders. Bend at the elbows, fingers and thumbs touch. Press the heels, the balls of the feet, the toes against each other. Pushing those feet into each other. Focus on your breath. As you inhale, feel that little tug at the top of your head, rolling you up onto your sitting bones. Pull those heels in, little pulse right here. Roll one shoulder back and then the other. No, 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 Cody. Big breath in through your nose. As you exhale, stabilize your knees, take your nose down to your toes, focus on that stretch, inhale up, push the feet away, exhale, chin toward your heels. Inhale up, give those legs a little shake, give the arms a shake as well, get that blood moving.
slide those feet in once more. Big breath in. Exhale, scoop out. Hands to the backs of the thighs or into the air if you can. Really slow down the descent. Hold, don't be afraid to hold on. Low back, middle back, upper back. Very nice. Nice little pelvic tilt. Imprint your low back. Turn your palms to the ceiling. And this one, it's really critical to think about the, the lower body positioning. So make sure your feet are in the right place. Your knees are feeling strong. Glue those hips into the mat. We don't, this is the only exercise where we really talk about that specifically. So you're pressing both cheeks into the mat. Low back pressed in. Exhale, slide one, one leg away. Point the toe. Inhale, lift that leg into the air. Exhale, straight leg even with the bent. Take the leg out around and up. Now that bent knee is keeping you honest. It's immobile, pointed straight up to the ceiling. Now for me, I can feel a little pressure moving into this arm that, that is keeping me stable. And if this arm were across my chest, the possibility exists that I might start to rock and roll. So if you need that foundation with the arms, if you need that stability that the arms bring, don't be afraid to use them. If you need the challenge, then maybe bring those hands to your, to your torso. Let's pause here, one foot in the air, flex that foot. Point the toe, inhale. Exhale, toes to the nose, leg goes out, around, and down. Exhale, toes to the nose, out, around, and down. Third time. Last one. Bring this leg into the air once more. Give that foot a flex. Now you should be looking straight up. Flex and point. Flex and point. Beautiful. Inhale, draw the knee into the chest. Exhale, push that bent leg away. So now that bent leg is out straight and your arms are resting on the shin, gently pulling the knee up toward the shoulder, pressing that thigh toward the belly. As you exhale, extend this, extend this bent leg into the air. Double straight leg stretch. Don't be afraid to breathe through this stretch. Focus on the stretch. This is such a nice gift to give your hamstrings. Who knew you were giving gifts to your hamstrings tonight? Really, Pilates is a gift for our whole body. And if we discipline ourselves to stay in the moment, it's a gift for our minds as well. Not that our mind is in our body, it is. Let's flex the foot on that extended leg. Whew. Relax the foot, inhale, draw this knee into the chest. Slide the opposite arm, the opposite side over. Let that arm, let the, um, for me, this is my left arm. I'm gonna let my left shoulder sink into the mat, extend out through the left hand, big breath in. Exhale, gently pull this left knee over to the right side. And you're feeling this glorious stretch on that whole left hip, left low back sacral area. It's really up to you to decide where you want to feel the stretch. You're going to hold here for a breath or two, inhaling and exhaling. And then if you're ready, let's open this up. So you're gonna inhale, now again, this is my left leg. So my left foot to the inner thigh of the right leg. Right hand to the right hip bone, left hand to that left inner thigh. Just feel that stretch in that inguinal ligament. You're gonna feel it in the posterior side of the body. You're gonna feel it in the sacroiliac joint, sacroiliac ligament, piriformis muscle. And then if you're ready, let's return that left foot to the mat and just gently rock side to side. And then pause, find your alignment, left foot, left knee, left shoulder, if that's, if you started with your left leg like I did. 
If you started with your right, then of course it's just it's the opposite. Point the toe on your right leg. Inhale, lift the right leg into the air. Exhale, straight leg even with the bent. Take that leg out around in a half circle. Exhale, straight leg even with the bent. Out around, back up. Last time in this direction. Nice little pelvic tilt. You're gluing your hips to the mat. Pause here, flex the foot. Inhale, point the toe. Exhale, toes to the nose. Leg goes out, around, and down. Exhale, toes to the nose. Leg goes out, around, and down. Third time. Now this left knee is gonna help you out. It's gonna keep you honest. It's immobile, pointed straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna go around one more time. And then pause here at the top. Flex and point. Let's do that again, flex and point. Beautiful. Relax the foot, inhale, bend the knee, draw it into the chest, slide the other leg away. Let your hands rest on your shin. It's just kind of a subtle movement, but you're, you're gently pulling that knee toward the shoulder, gently pressing the, the thigh toward the, the torso. And then exhale, back to that double straight leg stretch. Exhale, flex the foot. Feel that stretch, the length of the leg. So Achilles tendon, soleus muscle, gastrocnemius, hamstring. Relax the foot, draw the knee in, slide. For me, it's my left hand to, my, to the opposite leg, to my right leg. Right shoulder sinks down into the mat. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale, gently pull this right knee over to the left side. Do your best to keep your right shoulder in contact with the mat. Optimize the position of the knee, then pause and breathe. And let's inhale and open this up. Sole of that right foot to the inner thigh of the left leg. Left hand to your left hip bone, right hand to the right inner thigh. Exhale, nice little stretch here, moving the hands in opposition to each other. Nice job. Inhale, bring those knees in. Exhale, legs into the air, flex your feet, point your toes, rotate those feet on your ankles. Spread your toes as you do that, really giving yourself a nice stretch for that thick plantar fascia on the bottoms of the feet. The hands have palmar fascia, same thing, reverse direction on the rotations. You wanna keep that fascia mobile. You don't want it to get hard and brittle. Give your legs a little shake, wiggle and a jiggle, and then bring those legs together. It's a quick vertical lift, point the toes, and again, we're going straight up to the ceiling. Arms are close. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flex your feet. Two, three, four, five, six. Point your toes for four. One, two, three. Flex. One, two, three. Point for two. Flex two. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Shake them out. <laughs> Hi, Cody. I know. I know. Let's go right into our teaser. One foot to the mat and then the other. Make sure the, the foot is in contact with the mat. Pelvic tilt. Inhale, lift those arms up. And then exhale, bring them behind your head. Reach through your fingers, kind of framing the ears with your arms. I'm not resting my hands on the floor. My knees are pointed straight up to the ceiling. Nice pelvic tilt. Inhale, lift your chin to your chest, look to your belly. Bring yourself up. Stay on that tailbone, not to your sitting bones. Exhale, scoop out. We'll do level one one more time. Now remember, you can stay at whichever level makes sense to you. If you wanna stay at level one, that is perfect. Let's slide the right leg away. This is level two. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. Little pause, exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left leg into the air, scoop out, and lower. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. 
exhale and lower. Nice job. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. A little pause as you bring your right foot down. Extend the left leg, scoop out and lower. Two full breaths to complete the exercise. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. Both legs up if you can. Left foot down, scoop out and lower. Really focus on that low back, contacting the mat first. Inhale, bring that right foot down. Exhale, scoop out and lower. If I'm going too fast, slow it down. If your body needs a break, take the break. If you need to lie in stillness and focus on intention, intentional breathing, go right ahead. Listen to your body. Stay tuned in. Don't get caught up in the moment. Mind, breath, body, all together. If you want to move it on up to level four or five, please feel free. And let's take it up. Last one. One leg in the air, then both. Nice scoop. Reach through your fingers, through your toes. Three big breaths. Slide the hands to the backs of the thighs, bend the knees, round through the spine, draw those knees in, inhaling, exhaling as you gently push the knees to the right, eyes and arms to the left. And then inhale, bring those knees back to center. Exhale, push your knees to the left, eyes and arms to the right. to follow the lower body over to the left side. Use your hands to push yourself up onto all fours. Bring the hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath those hips. Here we are in this nice position. Now you find the place, again, when we were, when we were standing up straight and tall, we talked about that, about um, evenly distributing our body weight from the right side to the left, from the front of the foot to the back. Well, now you're on your hands and knees and you're gonna really think about evenly distributing your body weight from the knees to the, to the hands, from the right side of the body to the left. Just take a moment, find that place, fingers pointed to the wall in front of you, toes to the wall behind you. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift both feet up off the mat, exhale, extend your right leg, left arm. Lift that right leg as high as your hip, left arm as high as your shoulder, neck aligned with your spine, reach through your fingers and toes, big breath in. Exhale, return palm and knee to the mat, feet sink down, push your hips to your heels, bend your elbows, finally drop your head through the arms, inhale, round up into the cat stretch, exhale into the cow, Inhale back to the tabletop as you lift the feet up. As you exhale, extend your left leg, right arm. Try to lift the leg, the arm as high as their, their joint, their attachment there. Engage your abs, neck aligned with your spine, big breath in through your nose. Reach, exhale, return palm and knee to the mat, feet sink down, hips sink back toward your heels. Bend your elbows, drop your head in, inhale, tuck chin to chest, nice cat stretch. Exhale into the cow. Inhale to the tabletop as you curl the toes under, push up onto the balls of the feet, drop the head down, try to look to your toes, then inhale, walk the eyes up the length of the legs to your belly. Exhale, bend your eyes down the length of the legs to your toes. Little pause here. Inhale, lift both heels and exhale down. Inhale, lift and lower. Now alternating heel presses on this one. One, two, three, four. And that's probably enough of those. Pause here. Evenly distributing your body weight from your feet to your hands. Right side to left. 
as you exhale, bring the eyes along the length of your mat and look between your hands. Now, usually I talk to you about walking back a little bit on your mat, but for me, I need to walk forward. So try and keep your hands and feet on the same surface and then hinge through that hip, bring yourself to a, a high plank. Now, if you need to be in the low plank, go right ahead, just put your knees down and bring the elbow where the palm was, elbow to palm, and back up to that low plank. So in that plank, you've created that straight line from your heel to your shoulder. You're strong through your core, but you've got just a little softness in your elbow joint, little softness in your knee joint. Let's hold here for three more deep breaths. As you exhale this time, let those knees melt down into the mat, soften the feet, hinge through the elbow, belly comes down, chest down, Push the arms out in front, make little fists. I went right out of the, the picture there. Make little fists. Bring the knuckles to the, Cody, Cody. Bring the knuckles to the inside of the wrist. Just, just a nice little strengthening for the muscles of the wrist. Slide the backs of the hands beneath your forehead. I know Pam calls it crocodile. I'm not sure if anyone else, uh, any of our other yoga instructors do, but it's good to have a name for things. And I've been doing this position for such a long time. It seems for many of us to be just the perfect height when those hands are stacked. It just aligns the neck with the rest of the spine. Now, as you sink into stillness here, do allow your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips, and all the adjacent muscle and other soft tissue to just get heavy. Focus, now if, you're, if your middle and upper back and shoulders and neck and head relax too, that's great, but I want you to really focus from the waist down, just let your body move to stillness, move to heaviness. With each breath, just feel yourself sinking into your mat. And then as you inhale this time, just lift your head an inch or two off your, off your hands, and then pull those elbows in close Walk the heels of the hands in front of the shoulders. Keep the lower body relaxed. Inhale, just turn and face the wall in front of you. Then walk your eyes up the length of that wall, right up to the ceiling. And then bring it all the way down. And look at your mat. Inhale up. the ascension and the descent at the same tempo. Keep going, you're going to do about eight of these cobras. This is such, again, a wonderful gift for you to give to your body. This time, it's that extension of the spine, which is so vital to good back health and to overall health, because we know that if our neck, if our back hurts, our entire body doesn't feel good. We can't sit comfortably. We can't sleep comfortably. So take this time to really focus on this cobra. Inhaling as you ascend. Exhaling as you descend. Never holding your breath. Never, never holding your, your positioning. You're in constant movement. Even if it's a slow movement, it's a constant you're in constant motion. I'm going to let you do about four more.
interruption there with the signal. And you should have completed about eight cobras. And then all the way back down. And again, move to that crocodile pose and relax the body. As your lower body relaxes, now is the opportunity for you to focus on your upper body. Your middle back, your upper back, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, and your head. Just let them grow heavy and sink into your mat. Again, I just lift up a bit so you can actually hear me talk. And then we're going to slide those legs wider than shoulder width apart. Inhale, lift your legs from your hip bones. Keep your head down low. Inhale, pump your toes toward each other. Exhale, pump your heels toward each other. Inhale, toes, three, four, five. Exhale, heels, three, four, five. Inhale, toes, three, four, five. Exhale, heels, three, four, five. Inhale, toes, lift the whole leg. Exhale, move the entire leg. Inhale, toes, neck and shoulder muscles relax. Exhale, pump, pump, pump. Inhale, toes, three, four, five. Exhale, heels, three, four. Last time, big breath in, pump, pump, pump. Exhale, let those legs sink down into your mat. Slide those feet together so that your toes touch and your heels touch. Bend your knees, cross the ankles, recross your ankles. Engage your abdominal muscles, slide the hands beneath the shoulders, elbows are up, pointed to the wall behind you. Look down at your mat. Think about the muscles of the arms, the chest, the shoulders when you're ready. Inhale, use those muscles to push yourself up into a bent knee plank. Position the hands beneath the shoulders. Pull those heels in. Hinge through the elbow. Inhale, up. Exhale, little hinge. Inhale, up third time. Neck aligned with your spine. You're up on the muscles above the kneecap. You're not on the kneecap itself. Pull your heel in just, your heels in just a little bit more. Nice and strong through the core. Recross those ankles. If your wrists need a break, your back needs a break, go right ahead and take it. Last one. Bring it on up. Pull the heels in a bit more. Neck aligned with your spine. Engage your core belly muscles. Inhale. Exhale, release the feet, push back through your hips, bring one knee way under the body, then the other. Sink your hips to your heels, slide one arm away, then the other. Drop your head down. Feel that stretch from the base of your spine to the base of your skull. Again, if you're not feeling it in your low back, sink your hips a little bit deeper into those heels. If you're not feeling it in your upper back, keep your forearms on your mat. Just walk the, the hands a little farther away from the body. Let your head grow heavy and still. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, slide your hands down to your toes, turn your palms to the ceiling. Now you're letting your shoulders slope down into your mat. And you're again focusing on just letting your head kind of sink into the mat. The rest of the body is just melting into your mat. As you inhale this time, tuck your chin into your chest. Begin to round up through that low back. Drag the arms with you, lifting up on those knees. Lift your shoulders, your neck, your head. Roll those shoulders back. Roll the right shoulder forward and then the left. 
Inhale, lift both shoulders up. Exhale, roll both shoulders down. Now, I would like for you to stay on your knees. If this isn't comfortable for you, move to that seated position. I'm going to move to the seated position just so you can see me. So I'm back in the frame. So if you're up on your knees, your arms are extended to the sides. Turn the palms to the wall behind you and add a little pulse. Two, three, four. Turn the palms to the wall in front of you. Just a tiny pulse again. It's kind of isometric. Palms to the ceiling. Palms to the floor. Pause here. Reach through your fingertips as you exhale. Try and get those arms shoulder height. Then inhale, lift the right arm, lower the left, bend at the elbows. Try and get those fingers to touch, looking straight ahead. Release that bottom arm, give a little push on the tricep muscle of the, of the raised arm. And then release, bring that same arm right in front of your throat, give yourself just a little push. And then open it up again, palms to the floor. Inhale, lift the left arm, lower the right. Bend at those elbows, try and get those fingers to touch. Don't droop through your neck. Try and keep everything up nice. And then release, bring it around, give a little push. Same arm, just stretch it out. And release. Let's all move to a seated position. Let's extend those legs out to the sides. Walk those hands forward. Little pulse. Keep the left hand where it is. Take that right hand, frame the right leg. Kind of reaching the body out over that thigh. Pause. Right hand comes back to center. Left hand frames the left leg. Little pulse. back to center. Walk those hands out just a little bit farther. Bend the elbows, drop the head down. Inhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Walk the hands in. This is for your back. Inhale, bring those arms up and overhead. Exhale, arms about shoulder height. Windmill over, soft that baby toe. Inhale, feel yourself just rise up, square your shoulders. Exhale, soft. Two, three. Inhale, rise up. Exhale and saw, two, three, again, inhale, exhale, saw. One more time, big breath in, square the shoulders, engage the core, neck aligned with your spine, inhale, rise up, exhale and saw. Inhale, bring both arms up and overhead, grasp the forearm, give a little tug. Other side, give a little tug. Inhale, bring those arms up, shake them out, shake out those legs. Bend your knees, cross out your ankles, up on the sitting bones. Again, I just kind of rock side to side to say, there they are. So find those sitting bones. Inhale deeply through your nose, maybe bring that breath in right at the base of your spine. Take that breath up the length of your spine, filling up your lungs. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away, backs of the hands to the tops of the knee, tops of the knees. If you need that little focal point, go ahead, put that spiral in the center of the palm. Three deep breaths right here just for you. As you exhale, allow your eyelids to flutter open. Look straight ahead or find a focal point on the wall or on the floor. Remain here for a moment. Think an affirming thought about yourself. Take that great big breath in. Eyes follow the hands up and up. Fill up the lungs. Exhale. Push through your forearms. Push all the air out of your lungs. Once more. Great big breath in. Reach. Stretch. 
Exhale and push, bring your hands together at your heart, drop your chin to your chest. Two breaths right here in this place just for you. Light in me bows to the light in you. I'm so happy you were able to join me this evening. It means so much to me that we can remain connected. I hope to see you sometime soon in person. Maybe six feet away, but still in person. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Take good care.